can't even see it. Yeah, I don't know how you hopeful it's going to be. Fuck, there's a fly in here. Bitch. <laughs> I don't know how to, can you hold this like for me while I do it? Just like hold it above your head. Like, as high as you can. As, you, as much as you can move it, it's hard to explain, but. <laughs> do it more at like the front so I can see it like move more. Your pinky went in my ear hole. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's like exactly the same flexibility. Can you even tell when you're looking at it? Yeah. That it's like moving? Yeah, you can see it like bunch up. Like, sufficiently? Mm-hmm. Do it at the back of your head since it's shaved. Oh, yeah. I yeah, can but really the, see it then. The back is, like, less... Well, I guess people bald hair, so it's kind of relevant. I can't really see it then. Like, the thing is, people are supposed... They think that this part is flexible because there's no balding here. Mm -hmm. Like, the sides and the back, but, like, the top... The people who are balding have, like, very low levels of flexibility, and that's what, like, cuts off circulation and causes the hair loss. Mm -hmm. So that's, like, a theory, but I think it's, like, largely incorrect. Now, obviously, I'm comparing a female scalp to a male scalp here, but the fact remains that male scalps typically respond to hormones exactly the same as female scalps. And that's why you have guys who, when they undergo, uh, if you have a guy who has a totally bald head, a totally bald head and he undergoes, um, extreme, you know, hormone therapy via gender reassignment. And he takes, you know, intense anti-androgens. He takes, um, high doses of estradiol. He takes, you know, um, other growth agonists um, in conjunction with that, they can go from like completely bald to a full head of hair again. So it's completely contradicts the whole like dead hair follicle hypothesis too. But anyways, before I get too off track here, um, a scalp responds to hormones more or less the same in males and females. So um, I thought it'd be interesting to, I don't know why I've never even like physically done this before, but just, you know, check if a uh, woman's scalp is more flexible than mine or not because obviously I have androgen induced miniaturization and women don't because they have high levels of estrogen and low 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 levels of testosterone and DHT so um you know there was no I didn't find any noticeable difference to be honest which kind of debunks the whole flexibility hypothesis at least I uh, just anecdotally based on my you know uh, you know, like, uh, first interpretation of what I'm seeing. I'm not doing like a clinical study and like putting like skin, you know, onto a, m under a microscope to assess like elasticity and stuff, but just like tangible feeling it felt exactly the same to me as mine. And, uh, um, I think that theory is largely, uh, um, overhyped in some uh, niches of the community. Like I know some guys who like truly think you can stop hair loss entirely just by massaging your head, which is very, very unlikely for 99% of people in my opinion. Um, perhaps if I, if I find otherwise in the future, I'll, you know, make a video addressing it, but that's uh, it's a hormone thing at the end of the day. And even if the, the miniaturization is a byproduct me mechanism via the androgens initiating it and it's not directly caused by the androgens and there's some other form of, you know, response going, which is the likely scenario where it's not 
directly the androgens, but rather a sequence of events leading to the miniaturization. I don't think anything has to do with the flexibility. Perhaps I think I will, you know, it should be noted that the actual density of the scalp, like the skin itself is going to differ between those with high systemic estrogen levels and those with low systemic estrogen levels or, you know, moderate as well. And that plays a role. Like the fat tissue like on your scalp, that's going to differ between men and women. Like you can't physically like feel the difference, but you know, under, uh, in clinical studies, they found that the density of the, uh, the skin thickness on the top of the head is different between men and women, uh, between those who, uh, and men who experience uh, androgenic alopecia versus those who don't like the, you know, the minority who are immune or at least not experiencing at that current time and are or experiencing it much slower than the, uh, you know, aggressively prone male. So, you know, um, if you're spending like an hour a day massaging your head, I highly doubt it's going to do anything. To be honest, I think you're probably wasting your time, but you know, um, it's free and it, you know, if it helps in circulation to some extent, I suppose it might be worth doing if you find it works, but just based on my anecdotal findings, it doesn't seem like there's a difference in my flexibility scalp in, uh, which has androgenic alopecia, miniaturized hair follicles, and a woman who has no miniaturization whatsoever. The flexibility seems exactly the same. If not, perhaps mine was even a bit more elastic than hers or had higher elasticity, it seemed like. So take from that what you will. Just a little interesting mini experiment I wanted to do because... Like, I don't know why I haven't thought of it. Like, it's a super a super easy thing you could do in two seconds. And, uh, you know, it says a lot about, you know, theories and stuff like that. So, anyways, take from that what you will. Take it with a grain of salt. Hopefully, you guys find that interesting. Um, if you want to see more hair loss prevention related content, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell because apparently it's uh, mandatory to have uh, the subscription show up in your uh, box, your sub box. Um, even if you're subscribed, might not show up if you don't hit the bell too. So, um, check out my blog too, moreplatesmoredates.com for written articles, podcasts for audio rips, um, Instagram at moreplates underscore more dates. Talk to you guys soon.